like the three the three of us on this channel here like with what we do like that all of us are mostly going after what is otherwise wasted we are the greenest bitcoin miners on the planet like there's other there's others like us there's many others like us there's there's a rapidly growing industry of people like us but it's not people like us pushing the esg narrative even though we're the greenest we're the cleanest we're the best the guys on the grid the guys on who are apologizing for their coal usage and are buying credits to offset their coal so they can make press releases seeing that they're green these guys and, and on one hand, I don't blame them. They have no choice but to comply with, and we do too, like we, every business on the planet, we all have to comply with what's coming down the pipe with carbon, uh, carbon administration and ESG administration. There's not really, you can't, you can't say no, because you can't hide. The only people that can say no are the black market people, the people that are doing this illegally, like mining under the radar. They're the only ones that cannot comply with the ESG stuff. I mean, on one hand, I totally understand why they're doing what they're doing, like why they're buying, buying carbon credits. They're very visible, they're very big. They're very, they're more than any of us, they're at the behest of, of regulatory rules and they're at more risk to regulatory rules because they're very big and visible and very impactful. Uh, but that being said, you can still comply, okay? You can still buy your carbon credits. You can still do whatever you think you have to do uh, to comply and, and, and be able to operate your business as profitably as you can without legitimizing this bullshit. Because most of these guys, they're really just positioning themselves, especially you see now like the guys like uh, talking about like, well, green mining pools and, and clean coins and like coin, you know, not mining blocks that have dirty coins in them and all this shit. Like they're only doing that to position themselves for the upcoming regulatory attacks. That's what that's what I think they're 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 doing. But with the problem, the only problem I have with it, and I like to call them out on it all the time, but is like you could do what you're doing, you could do all that, it's all fine. You just don't have to legitimize this nonsense because at the end of the day, you're putting yourself in a you're you're pushing a narrative that is gonna end up discriminating against the smaller miners. Smaller miners, like let's say boutique shops, like little little firms that you know have, might have a megawatt or two here and there, they can't they can't afford hiring staff to like to like brown nose with these regulators and put these ESG programs in place. And that's part of the why I hate this ESG stuff, because it's it discriminates against smaller companies. Like it's that's an overhead on top of your company. It's a new overhead. This ESG stuff is a new cost. And small companies can't afford that the same way the big companies can. For the big companies, it's nothing. Like it's like you hire 10 people to full time make sure your business has this narrative in place, like all your, you know, your ESG reporting and this and that. Small companies can't do that. Like I, I can't afford to hire people to do that. Like so luckily I'm not in a position where I have where I'm mining off beautiful coal and I have to like write a report saying why I'm why should I be allowed to mine off coal? Luckily, I, my position right now is we're not we're not a high emissions uh, miner, but there are high emissions miners out there. High emissions, like in regards to okay, you're using mostly coal or a grid based on mostly coal. When you are out there, you know, putting out press releases that you know you're green and you're mining clean blocks and stuff, you end up it's going to create a more of a discriminatory environment where you're basically just posturing. And, and it's a form of lobbying. You're just trying to get in good favor with the regulators while screwing over everyone else who, who, cause it's, it's frankly just not a legitimate, uh, it's just the whole, the whole thing isn't legitimate. So sure. that, that, that's the stuff that, that ticks me off. Cause I, I do understand why they do it, but man, they can go about it a little bit differently.